so in this session we will cover the the business process in quite detail with uh, how the how it represented within through a you know computerized system like ERP and specifically for retail in B2C mode so for that we will take an example of for an example shopper stop or let's say it's C3 so C3 is a is an organization which has you know physical store so C3 has physical store store in Kolkata in Kolkata location what C3 is selling C3 is selling different items like lifestyle accessories grocery items food items they are selling uh, generic you know ceramic items so different items which are required for household individual and lifestyle accessories that all of these items they are selling C3 now how the sale happens so they are using store and the store is in Kolkata how the sale happen what are what can be the department so again the departments remain same C3 has purchase in this case what kind of things they are purchasing finished goods so are directly purchasing they are directly purchasing finished goods now they have a sales how the sales is happening directly to the consumers through their physical stores so through their physical store they are selling directly to their consumer now they are targeting only uh, you know as they have one physical store only in Kolkata so they are targeting a local you know state and region wise consumer not too much so this is their cycle they are using some ERP system and what additional they require they have they need accounts department what additional department do they need shipment department yes or no Do they need shipment department to ship it to end customer? No, not to the customer, not to the inventory. They do not require shipment department because consumers visiting their store and they are purchasing it directly. So there is no requirement and they are selling lifestyle accessories, they are selling uh, food and grocery items so they do not require shipment these items do not require too much you know it's not something which need to be shipped to the customers uh, doorstep the customer will be visiting the store and taking the item with them do they require production why they are retailer and they are uh, into retail business so they are not producing anything they are also consuming the items from other manufacturers so this kind of uh, requirement they do not need so now let's see how this happen and where they need to spend So we will start with C3 again and let's say this is a purchase process. What departments need to be involved? Purchase, account and what? Inventory. This is a purchase process. whom they are communicating they are communicating with different vendors v1 v2 v3 v4 to vn different vendors because they have many products so they need to have many vendors but as they are selling brands mostly so the vendors are fixed so that means 
if they are selling nescafe they need to be in touch with nestle if they are selling uh, some uh, tata tea so they need to be in touch with tata tea only so in tea also they are they are selling various number of teas so might be there for tea itself they are associated with 10 vendors number of vendors will be very high for them because they are dealing in multiple kind of items lifestyle accessory food grocery ceramic items so there can be multiple vendors process is simple in this case purchase department decides to purchase how in this case sales department will be not in touch with purchase purchase department is regularly checking the inventory because it's a physical store they need to check the inventory of each item regularly on a regular basis they will check the inventory regularly and whatever inventory they see available uh, you know in low quantity or if they see that there is a season shopping season coming on and in that shopping season few particular item like for an example in Christmas lifestyle accessory sales increased in Christmas the selling of cakes and pastries increased so they, they know that this kind of sale will happen in Christmas so what purchase department will do purchase department will acquire the material from the vendor it's simple thing purchase department in this case vendor is fixed so we need to understand how the sale happen in this case the vendor is fixed their requirement is also fixed so what they will send to the vendor they will directly they can directly send purchase order because vendor is fixed mostly prices are also fixed discounts uh, that means the margin for c3 is also fixed there is a uh, tata tea packet of 250 gram price end maximum retail prices might be you know 100 rupees but c3 will get that at might be 95 rupees so 5% is their markup which is fixed from the beginning if anything change then vendor will notify them that on certain items your percentage has been changed so usually on a group of items the percentage remains same so they will straight away send purchase order confirming the order this vendor will process this purchase order as a sales order within their organization they will send this sales order might be to production or purchase within their organization to produce or uh, gather the items and they will uh, you know send the delivery once the deliver once the item is received so they will send the delivery to actually the inventory inventory will be replenished with the item and their vendors accounts department will take care of the accounting part with your accounts department by sending you AR invoice so C3 will pay the payment to this accounts department vendors accounts department and once the payment is complete they will add one AP invoice within their own ERP system to keep track that they have purchased this material from this vendor so this is as simple as that nothing too, too much complex is the simple purchase process so now we will look at the opposite one that means the sales process So now we will see how sales happen. So usually sales, there is a sales department under that there are at least various number of sales employees S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. Okay. So there is a number of sales employee in a physical store as you can understand accounts department is there but they cannot really take care of the customer so there are customers c1 c2 c3 c4 cn and there is you know 
a huge number of customers visiting their physical store so it's a huge number of customer now each customer it's not in physical store it will not happen that they will ask you to send a quotation or something like that it will not happen because the customer here are consumers consumers do not really care about the legal documents or something like that all they care about is a bill which usually is the invoice so what you will do salesperson communicating with each customer showing them the products if customers are interested they straight away goes to terminals terminal 1 terminal 2 terminal 3 terminal 4 so they straight away go to the terminals shopping payment terminals what are these payment terminals payment counter where you know the there is the terminals has one barcode scanner so they are quickly scanning the barcodes and they are taking the payment through either cash or by credit card by swiping the credit card and these terminals are keeping customer record c1 if customer wishes that if they want to register for the customer loyalty program and get some loyalty point if they want there there is a good example like you can go to uh, c3 you can have a loyalty card anything you purchase your card will be swiped you will get some point one point against each 100 rupees purchase and any time you can redeem these points yeah you can redeem these points in these terminals so terminals will be equipped with a barcode scanner and they will be equipped with uh, the payment option through cash or credit card and if you require they will uh, record the details of the customers whatever these terminals are doing the data will be directly feeding to accounts and uh, terminals are producing invoices directly which is sent which is provided to the consumers they are directly producing the invoices provided to the consumers and nothing else so the terminals uses a kind of software which is called pos or point of sale this is called point of sale softwares this can be associated with erp system as well point of sale softwares so point of sale has this capability and this capability only that point of sale used in physical stores in the term payment terminals it can quickly scan the barcode it already has all the items that is there within the inventory all the barcodes already number all the numbers available so it will quickly scan the barcode get your bill printed get your bill printed so that's the that's the task of these terminals usually the software used in these terminals are pos which is integrated which is connected with the erp system so erp has the inventory and the stock and everything so those are those are available between the erp and pos system so whatever sale happening through the pos is updated within the erp as well pos has an accounts uh, whenever any terminal have uh, do any sale it change some account details and that went to the erp and update the account that's it sales employees here are just uh, the main task of the sales employees are showcasing the products to the customers but payment happen in terminals so this is the simple logic business logic for a retail company in sales process which deals in business to consumer mode through physical store through their physical store they are selling so in this way the physical store sale can happen